My friends, how's it going? It's Ultimus, or as some of you uh, know me better as, as Tanner. Hi, how's it going? Uh, I'm going to be doing this video in a possible different style a little bit, just so that it makes more sense. Um, I'm going to be doing it um, not just for my YouTube channel, but also for my personal Facebook page as well. Um, so if the presentation of it feels a little bit different, it's probably just so uh, maybe people who aren't typically used to YouTube and gaming culture and stuff like that, uh, can understand it a little bit better, um, hopefully. So, uh, just heads up on that one. Um, but I'm doing this video because I want to talk to you guys about a pretty huge topic, or at least something that I, I feel like is a huge, huge topic. Um, and that is how Twitch was more than likely forever changed as of a couple of days ago. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with, um, and part of the reason I'm, I'm doing this video for... Um, other people than who would normally consume uh, content that's about video games, you know, Twitch and YouTube and stuff like that, um, is because a couple days ago, uh, live streaming video games specifically on the Twitch platform was forever changed. Just for forever changed. Just I'm, I'm calling it now. Um, things will never be the same for Twitch, um, and I I think in for the majority a good way. Let's just I'm gonna throw that out there. Um, Basically, most of us who are on Twitch and, and YouTube and, and, like I said, and, and, and gamers, even if we don't necessarily watch particular channels or we're not huge fans of Fortnite necessarily, um, or even Ninja, the streamer, we're well aware by now uh, that this dude has broke records. He has transcended, shattered, obliterated, destroyed records on Twitch. He is now the world's most subscribed Twitch channel, so congratulations to him. This is a guy that has literally been around live streaming since Twitch TV was Justin TV. So this dude has been around for a while. He has been working his butt off. Um, he just he is a down to earth, humble guy. Um, I'm personally not. Uh, his content isn't necessarily for me, just because the games he plays typically aren't what I'm really interested in watching. But him as a person, I think he's great. Um, and I think he's a really, really great person to kind of be in the forefront of Twitch right now, especially considering uh, some of the presupposition that goes into what Twitch and video gamers are like. Um, not only has he broken the record for most subscribers, um, he broke the record for most concurrent viewers, I do believe. I, when I tuned into the stream um, a couple nights ago when it was going on, he was at 600,000 concurrent viewers and what that means for again for people who aren't really familiar with the scene and the, some of the language he had 600,000 people watching him at that time that's insane that is absolutely insane there are esports events that don't have that many people tuning in um, and this is huge because he was you know playing with Drake casually just drake the, the rapper the musician the artist whatever you want to call him i can already feel the uh, trolley comments no drake's not a real rapper lol he's a musician he's an artist whatever he's music game for me but he is what he is um and and all of a sudden now people who might not have ever heard of or been interested in twitch are interested in twitch they're hearing the name all of a sudden live streaming is huge Right, and there's other there's other rappers and ex football stars that are getting in on the stream. All of a sudden, they're calling their buddies out, and there is a waiting list, a waiting list of celebrities, athletes, and musicians that are trying to get in on this action to play with this streamer. Now, the reason this is crazy to me, and there's a couple points I want to talk about with all this, and the reason this is crazy to me is because before, it wasn't cool to be a nerd. Right? Nobody was lining up to play with the nerds. The nerds were picked last. Um, the geeks were picked last. They were made fun of. It's only been the past five to ten years tops, but I'd say five to seven realistically, that it's been cool to be a nerd. Like It's been very mainstream to be to be a nerd, You know, I, I think, with the rise of, of online games and stuff like that. And the fact that you know we're looking at the kids that were nerds as little kids have now grown up and we're more or less the status quo. You know, I'm almost 30 years old. Um, and I'm not ashamed to still, you know, I bought a Game Boy a couple months ago just to play Pokemon Ultra Moon. I don't give a dang. I go to work, I work hard for my money, I put up with a lot of nonsense all day. You know, I come home, I take care of my family. 
Um, I pay my bills on time. <laughs> I want to buy a Game Boy. I've got to buy a Game Boy, right? I, if you want to think it's silly, hey, that's cool. Like, pay my bills. But I, I just, you know, I, I, it's whatever. But the, the the thing is, like, all of a sudden now this this subculture that a lot of people probably hadn't heard of or just chalked off and, and brushed off as being for, you know, nerds, basement pigeons, um, you know, kids that can't hold down a real job, the socially awkward, um, the morbidly obese or, you know, out of shape, you know, what, whatever stereotype they wanted to attach to it. All of a sudden it was thrust into the public eye and people, I think, are realizing that what we've known for a very long time and what smart entrepreneurs have been knowing for a very, very long time, and that is there is big, big money in Twitch. Uh, there is big, big money in video games, not just making video games. Uh, there is big, big money in esports, and that's another thing I'm going to be talking about. You know, when I was growing up, um, you know, my, my parents, they meant well, because that was the world we lived in, but they always said, you know, Tanner, um, you know, you got to be careful how many, how many video games you play. You have to be careful how many video games you play because you're you're not really going to make any money doing. You're not going to make any money playing video games. You should be investing your time into something that is more useful and helpful to society. Now, again, this was in the '90s and early 2000s, right? I had a Nintendo 64 and a PlayStation, and then the fancy system at the time. I think when I had this conversation was GameCube, and I was playing a lot of Melee, uh, whether it was my friends by myself. I was just playing, 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 and I was getting good. I was getting very good. Um, I was getting so good to the point that my friends would come over and it would turn into three versus me. Like I, and I would I was winning. You know that I, w I was getting good. Um, and I'm I'm not trying to say that to to sound braggadocious, but that that's just kind of how it went down. Um, but look how quickly times changed. You know, in the, in just ten years. You know, by two thousand nine or so, people were. You know, making their living on YouTube. It was unheard of. It's unheard of. And so now there's companies, you know, multi billion dollar companies that are investing in esports because there's money in it. And it's insane to me. So all of a sudden, now that there's money in the game, everything's changed. So one of the, one of the things I wanted to talk about before, and I probably should have segued, has segued this a little bit better, but um, I'm kind of doing this off the cuff in one take, so I apologize. But Back to the whole topic of all of a sudden, you know, it's cool to be a nerd. And there's, there's been a lot of backlash about all this, about how, you know, all these celebrities and people need to get off Twitch. Um, it's not for them, it's for us. You know, these people that made fun of us, and I've been seeing a lot of those posts and things and uh, retweets on Twitter and things like that, and conversations like that going around about how, you know, these people need to get off Twitch and leave us alone. This is ours. Um, they made fun of us all growing up for being nerds and geeks, and uh, they have no right to come take this from us. And it's like, look, my my thoughts on it, honestly, and this is my opinion. You can disagree if you want, but my my opinion on this is: look, Twitch is for everybody. Real talk, like, it doesn't matter who you are. You you can't just pick and choose who can participate. You just don't. And I so firmly believe that the hardest working people are gonna prevail, and they're gonna come out on top. Now, there's there's the issue of well, these people that already have a ton of exposure coming on Twitch and streaming, is soaking up a lot of viewers for, you know, from people smaller channels who are working just as hard and. You know, maybe, maybe for a little bit, but I, I think a lot of the people that are coming over um, that already have a good following, a big following, they probably won't stick around for a while. Um, but, you know, they're coming and hanging out. It's, it's a fun thing for a bit, but for the most part, I think you'll see it, you know, dissipate out a little bit. Um, but in general, people having the attitude that, you know, all of a sudden now everybody wants to be a Twitch streamer, it's like, no, you don't, you don't get to have that mentality because just because... Someone picked on you when you were in high school for playing Pokemon cards with your friends or, you know, whatever age you were when you were playing with your Pokemon cards. Doesn't mean it's okay for you to exclude other people, you know? You know, two wrongs don't make it right. That's my two cents on that. Twitch is for everybody. You, you can make a username. You can make an account, right? You can set up your stream. It can be a crap stream. It can be a great stream. Um, and, you know, it'll either succeed or fail. It'll be what it is, right? It's it, Twitch is for everybody, bottom line. Bottom line, I, I, I very much believe that. Um, the other thing that's interesting to me, though, now, though, is everybody was kind of just, eh, it's Twitch. It's just a bunch, of, a bunch of nerds playing video games. I don't think people were realizing how much money was in Twitch um, in the sense of how much money could be made because it's a form of entertainment. You know, realistically, it is no different than you tuning in to watch your favorite TV show. It's no different than you, you know, paying a ticket to go see your favorite comedian. 
It's no different than you, you know, paying, you know, uh, you know, for season tickets to go see your favorite sports team. Um, it, it, it's just crazy how the times have changed. But now again, that there's money in it, people are paying attention. So it's going to be very, very interesting to see where Twitch goes from here. Um, how esports is going to change with everything. I think you're going to see a lot of really smart entrepreneurs going all in on Twitch um, and streamers, brand deals. Uh, sponsorships, things like this. Um, it's it's an interesting time to be alive. It is an interesting time to be alive. And do I think this is good for Twitch? I, honest to God, truth, absolutely. I think this is really good good for Twitch. I think this is really going to test Twitch as a company, um, and I think it's going to test streamers as individuals. Uh, Twitch is a company with how are they really going to handle. Uh, their big name streamers with what kind of content is allowed on Twitch, what isn't. You know, are we going to see it go the way of YouTube where everything has to be brand and advertiser friendly? We'll see. Um, you know, individual streamers. You know, um, how they're going to they're going to handle. Um, you know, the the influx in you know new viewers that are going to come in. Um, how they're going to handle. You know, obviously Twitch had a very recently had a um, change in their. Uh, terms of service, you know, how, how streamers are going to deal with that. And it, it's just interesting how the reality is money changes things. Um, or it's almost better to say, in all honesty, money just exposes things. I think very rarely do I think money changes things. I think it really just exposes a lot of things for how they really are, how they've been going, the direction they've been going. So we'll have to see what Twitch looks like. Um, but I, I do think overall the exposure is good for it. Um, I think, and part of why I was saying I think someone like Ninja deserves it is because he, you know, he's he's not running a PG stream, but he's also not acting like an idiot, you know, on the internet and making every Twitch streamer look very very bad. Um, he has a very respectable professional stream. Uh, he just has a good time playing games, and as far as I can tell, he's he's a really good representation to be the face of Twitch right now. That. You know, just think what you want about the kid, but I, I think he's a lot better than some of our other options out there <laughs> for who could be popular and who could be uh, having the public's eye on him right now. Um, the exposure for Twitch is very, very good. Obviously, as a company for a business, this is great for them. <laughs> um, you know, it, I'm very, very curious to see where this goes. I'm optimistic. I think it's good. Um, I don't think it's in anyone's right to say who belongs on Twitch and who doesn't. Um, my thoughts on that are: if you don't like a channel, just don't watch. It's just it's all there is to it. You don't even have to follow it. It's crazy. I, I literally every single channel that I follow, I like, and I probably watch from time to time. I'm only subscribed to a couple channels because money don't grow on trees, you know. But I I watch who I like, and I just don't give two poots about the other people. That's just all there is to it. <laughs> so that's just kind of some of my thoughts on it. Um, I, I do think the next couple years on Twitch are going to be very, very interesting. Um, and I, I hope it ends up being a very, very positive thing. Um, I think it will be. Um, and again, this is coming from someone who streams two or three nights a week whenever I can get the time in. And I have two, three viewers tops. Like, I'm nobody. I'm, I'm, I'm nobody. But um, Twitch is something that I care about very, very much. You know, Twitch is something that I enjoy very, very much. Um, some of my favorite streamers have helped me through some really rough times just by having a stream on and just providing free entertaining content and interacting like it's just been it's been a great thing um, and I really hope that has continued to be seen as a very very positive thing um, because some of the communities that are built on Twitch are second to none absolutely second to none so um, that's kind of my thoughts on it um, I wish all the best uh, to Ninja as he continues to grow. Um, I hope and pray he continues to conduct himself in a way that is both good and healthy for him and his stream so that he continues to go up and grow from here. Um, and that is also good for Twitch because as far, at least for now, unless I'm given anything to make me think otherwise, when Twitch wins, we win. Like as, as streamers, I just... So let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are though. Um, if you're not... Or if you weren't familiar with Twitch up to this point, and now you are, you know, is it all of a sudden, are you curious? Do you still not care? Um, but let me know what your thoughts are 
on this entire thing as it's blown up. Uh, the funny thing about it is I really had no interest in playing Fortnite. Um, just really wasn't the game for me. Um, typically when I want to play a shooter, I want to play Overwatch. But my best friend hit me up and was like, hey, have you heard of this game? I was like, <laughs> have I heard about it? Yeah, I've heard about it. <laughs> And I wasn't being condescending, it was just funny because it was the day after um, that massive live stream of Fortnite by Ninja when Drake and uh, everybody and their mother wanted to play with him, which is crazy. Um, you know, so I'll probably be playing it now mostly just because my best friend wants to play, so that'll be fun. But um, thanks for watching, I appreciate your time, hope you guys made it all the way through the video. If you did, uh, leave a like on the video. Let me know what you thought in the comment section. And I really do want to know what your thoughts are on the whole situation. Um, cause you know, I'm here sharing my opinion. I want to hear yours. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time.